They support a radical form of Islam and reject democracy and freedom. Salafists. It's one of the fastest growing branches of Islam in Germany. That's what the Federal Domestic Intelligence Service says. In 2011, German authorities knew of about 3,800 Salafists in the country. Three years later, that number was 7,000. And by 2017, it was 10,800. That's almost a trebling in seven years. And this is the Salafist stronghold in Germany, the western state of North Rhine-Westphalia. It's thought there are about 3,000 Salafist supporters here. The regional intelligence agency classifies 800 of them as prone to violence. Authorities watch female Salafists particularly carefully. As wives and mothers, they're important in holding the community together. In 2012, a group of Islamists in Germany were caught planning a bomb attack in Bonn. At least one of the group had Salafist connections. Salafists have taken to German town centers, preaching and handing out the Quran for free. In 2016, the interior minister banned the group that had organized those giveaways. We don't want terrorism in Germany. We don't want calls for terrorism to be made here or for people to be radicalized here. And we don't want terrorism to be exported from Germany. But just a month after that statement came this, the Berlin Christmas market attack. Anis Emery drove a truck into the crowd, killing 12 people. The 24-year-old from Tunisia allegedly belonged to a Salafist network. German Salafists even support fellow believers in prison, binding them to the cause. DW investigative reporters working on the story found a thriving network.